it's Deborah from The Attic and today I've got my latest downloadable to share with you. If you're a returning friend, welcome back. If you're new to the channel, uh, you're very welcome. Please go and check out some of the other videos. There are over 400 for you to choose from, loads of inspiration there. Um, if you haven't already, please subscribe. Please hit the notification bell and that will tell you every time I upload a new video. Although generally it's every Friday night there will be fresh content for you. If you want more regular updates, please follow me on Instagram where I tend to update on whatever I'm doing, whatever work in progress I have on my desk and uh, sometimes little sneak previews of what is coming up. But today this is what we're going to be looking at and this is going to be available in my Etsy shop and I'll provide all of the links below the video in the Read More description box. This is a lovely little kit that talks of the coming of spring because I think we're all fed up with um, the, the dark nights of winter time and so this is really cheerful and as I was putting this together it just made me smile. These are three sheets of A4 and they comprise a whole bunch of um, ATCs or journaling cards. ATCs are artist trading cards and they are two and a half inches by three and a half inches. So each of these um, measures that size. There's also a sheet with two envelopes on it. And these envelopes have, have been deliberately sized so that we will take these little artist trading cards or journaling cards. And the uh, envelopes also have some little details on the uh, flap. And I'll show you how that makes up in just a moment. I've included some extra strips of faux tape so that you can add these to your project. And again, I'll show you how to do that. And finally, I have this page of bookmarks. Now on these bookmarks, I've added some little tape and some sentiments. So nice things like soothing, calming, restful, peaceful. And this is where those extra tapes come in that I mentioned on this sheet because these have been sized so that they are ever so slightly larger than these for you to write your own greeting on this. So you might want to write hugs or miss you or love because uh, we're coming up to Valentine's Day as well. So you can personalise any of these bookmarks. I'm calling them bookmarks because that's the sort of shape that they are. But of course you could use these and just attach them to the front of a card if you wanted to do that and just send a sentiment to someone. Somebody. Now, um, because I thought you might want to swap these out, the reason that I've made these slightly bigger is because then you're not having to try and get it exactly over the one that I've included on this little posy. So they're a nice size. The other way that you can use them is to help seal your envelopes. So let me show you the envelopes. This is how they make up. I have four envelopes because I printed this sheet out twice and of course the beauty of an instant uh, downloadable digital is that once you've downloaded it you can print these off as many times as you want and these little envelopes I think are rather sweet the reason that I've printed off four of them is so that I can show you how to use some of those extra elements that I've just talked about with the tape for example this shows you the front of the envelopes they both have uh, little flowers in the front and there's also very faint wording on the background. These are very subtle designs. They're not meant to be sort of uh, in your face. These are really soft designs. And the way that I've used some of those faux tapes that I mentioned earlier is I've used uh, this large one here on the front of my envelope. If you wanted to write a little message, you could write it on there. And I've used one of the other little tapes, this pink one here, just as an extra detail uh, on the side. And as you can see, all of those colours all work together really nicely. And on this one, I've uh, cut out and used the grey sort of fat tab here um, so that you can see that you could write something in the corner there as well if you wanted to. Now on the reverse of both of these, I've added tape. Actually, have I added it on all of them? Just on three of them. So these are the little details that I mentioned that are part of the envelope's design. This one has got little petals and this one has got uh, a flower. And I've used some of these uh, extra tapes to stick down the envelope. So the way that I've done that, if I, I've taken the tape, I've added a tiny little spot of glue just at the ends so that underneath the little flap is free to tuck in to that extra piece of faux tape. And inside, as you can see, is my uh, rather nice little journaling card. They're so sweet. I absolutely love these. And they're the sort of things 
that you can pop into your journal if you want to do some secret journaling and you want to keep it private, or you can even use them as cards to send to a loved one. You might want to put it in a bigger envelope if you're not seeing them, it has to go through the mail um, and, and you need to address it properly. But these little things, I just think they're so cute. And can you imagine receiving something like that? I'd, I'd be quite up for that. I'd love it if somebody sent me one of these. Um, and so I've done the same with this envelope as well. I've got my little glue on the ends of my faux tape. And again, inside, I've tucked a little card. Once you've cut out uh, the nine artist trading cards or journaling cards, this is how they, uh, some of them will look because I've already cut some out and I've popped them in these little envelopes so you can see just how easily they will fit inside. So I hope you agree with me that these are such cute little things that they're ideal for yourself, for your journals, uh, for doing any sort of secret private journaling that you may want to do or to send to a friend. They just speak of optimism and brighter days to come. I'm going to say thank you very much for your time, as always thank you for watching, and until we meet again, stay safe and take care.